everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Between My Therapist and I. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Yellow Lee. And we have today a very special guest. Her name is Karen Wolf. She is the owner of Firefly Within, and we're going to be talking to her today about a little bit of quantum biofeedback. And for those of you who do not know, Karen, what is quantum biofeedback? Oh, education. Big, big question. Big right question. The <laughs> um, quantum biofeedback is basically energy medicine. So biofeedback has been around since the late 1800s in one form or the other. And even a thermometer is a form of biofeedback because it's reading your body's response and giving you like the feedback of what it is. Okay. Um, quantum biofeedback has been basically around for the last 40 or 50 years as we've been figuring out scientifically that the body holds frequencies. We're all like uh, electromagnetic beings, if you will. Mm -hmm. And these frequencies give off signals. And when they are in balance, like a radio would be in tune, you get this perfectly, beautifully balanced frequency. But when you're just off of that radio station a little bit, it gets kind of crackly. Mm -hmm. Our bodies do that too. When our frequencies get out of tune, then we start feeling stress, disease in the body. So they've been able to identify... There, I mean, there's trillions of frequencies in our body that make us up individually, but the machine that I use, they've been able to identify 7,000 different frequencies. And when those electromagnetic frequencies get sent to your body, your body feeds back a response, whether it's in or out of balance with that. The ones that are out of balance, we can give the energy to them to put them back into balance. Oh, and wow. So you can, you can actually put it back, you can put the energy back, and you can regulate it as well. Exactly. Okay. And the reason that's important is when we are in balance, that's when the body can heal itself. When it's out of balance, it's in fight or flight, it's just trying to survive, it's not healing, it's surviving. Right. But when it's in a state of balance, then it can go, I can heal, I can, I can mend myself. So the machine, um, quantum biofeedback will not heal you but it will give you the information of where your body needs the balancing and the healing, and it will give your body an opportunity to put it into a state of balance so it can start healing itself. Okay. And that's the quantum part of it, is by mm -hmm. using this frequency, this energy field that we all have, to be able to read it and see what it's saying and see what it needs and then give it the energy to support it. So you use the quantum biofeedback machine but then you, as the person using it, help um, your clients to better align their energy? And how do you do that? Yeah, when they are, um, there's a, a couple of different biofeedback machines, quantum biofeedback machines in particular. Okay. And mine is the life system that I use. It's German engineered. It's a class two medical device in the European Union. So over there, doctors, uh, psychologists, veterinarian clinics, I mean, they can all use this. Here, it's recognized by the FDA that it's not regulated as such. Okay. So I'm certified by the American Association of Drug Risk Practitioners and the Natural Therapies Board. So they watch yeah. very, we're watched, you know, we're watched very carefully what we do. Okay. So when I use it for the client, they are mm -hmm. actually lying on a pad and I'm watching the screen mm -hmm. to see you know, what they're testing for and then where they need the balancing. So the energy is provided for them during the session. And then after they're done, the body is telling a story. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's like listening to a little child, like where do you need help? Where do you need a support? And it's my job then to interpret that story, that information, along with talking to the client. Like, I'm seeing this or that. Does it make sense? Okay. You know, what has happened? What could be going on? And then give them recommendations of what they can do to keep the support going in their body. Because I see them for an intake session can be three hours. Wow. And, yeah, I had one the other day. It was three hours and we weren't even done yet. But I had another client coming in. And, and because we really go deep. Mm -hmm. We really try to get to what happened earlier on in life, where these traumas started. Um, and for instance, the client I had the other day, you know, this 
issue came up and she's like I thought I was over that and the tears the waterworks just started coming wow. and she's like on the table I could feel like different things I could feel like different energy moving through and it's like we were working with your meridians and we were opening up these these energy highways in the body mm-hmm. that will bring up emotion in yeah. you and so when the floodgates opened and she realized she still had all of this emotion and energy in her we needed to move that energy that's the other part of using quantum biofeedback Okay. It's like it's giving you the energy, it's opening you up, it's telling you a story, telling me a story, I'm interpreting it with the help of the client, and then giving them recommendations of what they can do to continue that support and that healing in the body. Did um, that answer the question? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually now have more questions, Yeah, I guess that's a good thing. Um, it, are there specific criteria that a patient or a client, however you call them, has to meet to be able to do the quantum biofeedback or has to meet to not be able to do the quantum biofeedback? No. Okay, so anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Any age can do it. I've worked on children as young as five and uh, clients as old as 94, I believe. Awesome. And everybody in between. The success of using quantum biofeedback lies with the client themselves. So I always tell them, it's like, if you want to go on a diet and you come out to lunch with me and we have a salad and you go, great, thanks. And then you go home and eat cheeseburgers and hamburgers and pizza and beer. (laughs) That little salad is not going to do much, except you probably feel pretty good after eating that salad. Yeah. So it's the same. Mental health is the same way. Same way. They have to be invested in their wellness. They have to be invested in their journey. So when I give the recommendations, I usually give a pretty good range of them. Mm -hmm. I can kind of guess, you know, if I have an engineer, he's probably not going to sit there and meditate, try to meditate. You know, he wants technical things that he can do, give me point A, point B. So I'll give them a range and say as many of these as you can do, choose the ones that resonate with you, because we don't want to cause more stress by giving you all this homework and you think you have to get it done. That's true. But the more they can do, the more consistently they can do it, the better the success, the long-term success they're going to have. I can't help but think of bimerial bees Mm -hmm. as something almost relatable to this in terms of that energy vibration and just like also like the bowl meditation that we were talking about earlier yeah how, how does that relate is it like the same sort of energy it's similar the binaural beats is basically retraining your brain to be into a state of balance okay and so when the brain is in a state of balance and you've got the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere talking to each other it puts you in a state of calmness so it's, it's helping to calm the brain it's helping to calm you down so that is working with um, sound frequency, you being into music, under, yeah, yeah. you know. So that part of it, but it's targeting a very specific area, mostly in the brain. And it can help with other areas as well, but mostly those frequencies so are for the brain itself. Not the whole body. Not the whole body, because the, the brain's got a certain frequency and the rest of the body has different frequencies. Right. So if you're using binaural beats and you've got stomach issues, although the stomach and the brain are pretty intricately connected. True. Um, it may not help with the stomach right away, but as you start to calm the brain and calm the mind, it will eventually have an effect on the So stomach. when you're doing the quantum biofeedback, you're working with the frequencies head to toe. Everything. And out from there. Because in, in quantum biofeedback we've got we've got four different bodies. We've got the, the their subtle body. So we've got the physical body We've got the mental body, the emotional body, and the etherical body. So these frequencies extend out from this meat suit that we wear, this physical body that the yeah. doctors love to take apart and put back together. You mm-hmm. know, the the frequency, the energy body, subtle bodies go beyond that. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. that's what quantum biofeedback is is reaching is into those subtle bodies, that subtle body energy that we can't. I mean, some people can see it, people who can see auras, that's part of the subtle body. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and you can feel it. So if you've ever walked into a room and somebody walks up behind you and you're like, (laughs) you know, you know somebody's there or it feels uncomfortable for them to be there, you are feeling their energy body. Mm -hmm. So, and somebody can walk into a room and be really upset and the whole room just goes, yep, you know, or the opposite. 
we're interacting with our subtle bodies. Mm -hmm. And that's the part where quantum biofeedback, so nothing is off, off limits with quantum biofeedback. If, if you're, I was going to say alive and breathing, but even if you're not, there's still an energy in that body. If, mm -hmm. if the mind and heart have checked out, there's still an energy in that body for a certain amount of time, and they've done testing on that, like when does the subtle body stop existing? Yeah. And it can be up yeah, to 15 that's... minutes afterwards that there's still subtle body energy going on. That's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. I guess my main question would be what, besides the recommendations, are there things you do during the session to help change that energy? Like, I know that some people do Reiki, some people, you know, try to um, change that energy in different ways. So, yeah. Um, does the quantum biofeedback machine change the energy right away, or do you have to do outside things to do that? It, it changes it right away. Mm -hmm. So typically there's not anything more that uh, needs to be done. And um, every once in a while, if somebody comes in in a heightened state of, like, they just drove through traffic or just had a confrontation at the grocery store, and they're just in this heightened state, I'll lay them on the table and I've got a, a hand crystal bowl and I'll just bring the crystal bowl. I'll just wave it over the body like let's just calm the energy down first. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to put them on the machine and we're going to be picking up the agitation they had about the traffic. Right. right. And this is not what we want to get to. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so or I'll, I'll talk them down. But um, the space that I have, the space that I've been able to provide is um, it's a home office and it's self-contained. So when I built it, I put crystals in the walls. I put the 72 names of God in the walls. I painted yeah. a big purple love sign underneath the floor. Wow. Um, there's crystals in the room. The, the table that I use is lavender, which is a very high vibrational healing color. Mm -hmm. So as soon as they walk in, it's like, Ooh, like a deep, deep breath. Right. Like they're so like, can I just move in here with you? Like, you? And sometimes I'll just go in there and sit myself, like, just to calm down. It's just, oh, goodness, yes, I would be using that all the time. <laughs> I know. Sometimes my kids can't find me. Oh, mom must be in the office, you know, and I'm just in there relaxing or meditating or something. So, yeah, I do want to get them into a calmer space. Um, and they can add these things on, like afterwards, if they want the biofeedback and then they want some crystal bowl energy or Reiki energy. Mm -hmm. okay. But I kind of like to separate them so I can see how they are responding to one particular modality. Um, Otherwise, I don't sense. know, are they responding to the yeah. crystal bowls, the biofeedback, the Reiki, yeah. like what are they responding to? Right. Yeah. True. So I like to kind of keep it one at a time unless they're really eager to. Yeah. And well, that makes sense. Like usually for example like i don't like if i'm gonna do emdr in cognitive behavior like i will do a session of emdr and then i'll do a session of cognitive behavior but i don't usually do both at the same time because like you said what worked yeah we don't know at that you know, point the chicken or the egg what came first i go yeah. and usually figure out. one is enough i mean when you go yeah. through a biofeedback session like I say, an intake, se an intake session can last three hours, and you're going to be on the table on the machine for about an hour, an hour and twenty, hour and fifteen, or hour and twenty minutes. So pee, guys. Before you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I do have a little twilight. I always <laughs> remind them if you have to, you can take a break. Yeah, because um, I have them really hydrate before they come. Because yeah. a hydrated body, water is um, oh, a great conductor. conductor. Right. Yes, and so if they're That's hydrated, right. the energy is going to take better. It's going to keep flowing in them better. And I keep telling them after. Afterwards, like if you drink, you know, five cups of water a day, try to do ten. Like really load it up for the next three days to keep this energy flowing through you, so you can get the most most out of it. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So you're talking about your home office, mm -hmm. um, and your home office is Firefly Within. That's your business, right? That's my business. Yeah. Um. So how did you start that? That's uh, that's actually an interesting story. So about nine years ago, um, I was uh, staying at home. I was uh, I had worked my whole life. I'm like I need to stay home, spend some time with my kids. Um, so I had some free time on my hands, and I was looking into kind of self help. You know, sitting in the aisles of Barnes and Noble, going, "There's got to be something more out there." Like you know, there's always somebody sitting next to you doing the same thing, right? <laughs> yes. And so I was into self-help and I was into like holistic energy and learning about it. And I, the universe 
put somebody in front of me who was opening a wellness center in Bonita Springs. Mm -hmm. And they said, I need help with um, the accounting, I need help with the build out, and I need somebody who can learn quantum biofeedback. And I'm like, I the first two, no problem. Right. What's quantum biofeedback? And I took the first class and I just went, whoa. Like, th why is everybody should have this machine in their house? This is like crazy, insane good. Mm -hmm. And it just became my thing. And I just loved it. And then after about a year, um, I went out on my own. And um, which was kind of scary at first because it's like <laughs> nobody's really heard of it. So this is kind of a big leap of faith. Yeah. Um, but I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone and I said, yeah, I'm going to start my own business. I just don't know what to call it. And she lived in Germany and she just stopped the conversation and she goes, oh my gosh. She goes, I live in the woods and there's this beautiful display of fireflies going on right now. Oh, my God. oh that's I'm like, perfect. A firefly. And then my and that makes so much sense. son at the time, who was 10, I told him what the name was. And he goes, well, my 10-year-old son, he goes, well, mom, he goes, it's really that light within that, that you are working oh. with. I'm like, are you kidding me? He goes, yeah, it should be Firefly Within. Oh. Of my 10-year-old son. And I was like. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I was like, be like, that's. I'm like, that's it. Perfect. It's You're perfect. So, so perfect. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I just love you. Um, so yeah, it became Firefly Within and I, you know, I got the logo started and started out of um, different wellness centers around the area, just meeting clients there and going to yoga studios and meeting clients there. And then eventually, like, you know, I was doing so much traveling. It was taking mm -hmm. up so much time to set up the machine, take it down, bring the massage yeah. table. I'm like, I really just need to do this at home and I opened the office in June of uh, 2019 which was brilliant timing I don't know oh, <laughs> February 2020 yeah <laughs> well, so I know exactly what you yeah. yeah well it was good though because I was in a yoga studio they closed the yoga studio right wow. because of the pandemic yeah. but clients were still able to come and see me plus I can do it remotely as well so right. I could maintain my business and people really needed it then because of the mm -hmm. extra stress and right. you know worried yep. about viruses and such yeah um, so I was able to maintain a lucrative business during it because of the home office because of when I had opened it so it was it just it was meant out. to be yeah. Yeah. It was that's amazing so I finally got it open and you offer quantum biofeedback at Firefly Within do yes. you other do you offer any other services? I do. I um, I do offer Reiki services, mm -hmm. uh, crystal bowl or sound healing meditations. Can you explain that? Because I love that. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the, the crystal bowl. The crystal bowl. Yes. Yeah. So the crystal bowls, um, I have a set of crystal bowls, and they resonate with the chakras. Um, eight chakras. We usually talk about the seven chakras, but there is a soul star chakra that's about two or three feet above our heads, which also is very important to balance. And so when I play the crystal bowls, the different sounds work with the client's chakras. And so if there's one that's out of balance, it's offering that balancing energy to that specific chakra. Mm -hmm. And so by playing the crystal bowls, the chakras become in line or in balance. And the chakras will help us support our physical, mental, and emotional well-being, depending on which chakra they are. They mm -hmm. all have their own purpose. True. And so it's a very... Um, passive way for the clients to receive an energy balancing where because some really don't want to talk you know they're not quite sure about quantum biofeedback but they'll mm -hmm. sit there and they'll listen to beautiful crystal bowls yeah. and yeah. it's very yeah. relaxing and they're getting healing and they don't have to say a word they don't have to talk about anything right so, and i was telling you before i think like especially as a musician i just think sound is so powerful yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and I, um, as someone with an anxious mind and who can get really, really stuck in my words, I think that offering a healing solution where no words have to be spoken mm -hmm. is such a powerful thing it is. because you can literally just sit there and you can just, you know, be overwhelmed in a good way mm -hmm. by this just it's I can't explain <laughs> how much I love it because it's, <laughs> it's literally like the purest thing in the world yeah mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and the crystal balls are so good. And what people don't, I think people don't really realize is that music, and I'm sure you understand, mm -hmm. can be good for you and it can be not good for you. Oh, yeah. Right. So when they're playing, and no offense to anybody who likes hard rock, you know, this <laughs> hard rock jammy music, you're really shaking up your frequency into this unorganized, chaotic state. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, it can be positive if you, if you need like that adrenaline mm -hmm. rush, but right. by and large, it, it shakes you up. Yeah. And you, you need that the body is in a natural state of calm and togetherness. Mm -hmm. And that's where it wants to be. And the crystal bowl puts you back together in that natural state of calm and togetherness. Right. And so, you know, you've got to, I think, use sound and, and music in a, a positive way. Yeah, in a purposeful way. Purposeful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be very mindful of what you're listening to, what mm -hmm. you're choosing, what yeah. music you're choosing to listen to. Right. That's why, like, when I'm here, I always put on... Um, 432 hertz music yeah i always put it on here um and then when i was teaching that's uh during covid yeah especially i always had that on either that or 528 hertz yeah that's the heart chakra one that's my favorite yeah. one yeah. um because you heal that heart chakra it's like everything gets you and it was just one of those things where um i just felt that it was so important to just have in the background at all times yeah and that's what I tell my clients, like, if you want something that you can do every day, just turn this on in the background, mm -hmm. turn off the news, turn off, you know, 100%. Yes. yes. The and news is God, it's so bad. <laughs> yeah. And it's constant. It doesn't stop. Yeah. It's constant fear and negativity. And you know what? I don't listen to it, but I know what's going on in the world. I'm just not constantly bombarding myself with it. You don't have to be ignorant. You can be aware, but you don't have to subject yourself to it 24-7. Yeah. And you put on those binaural beats or you put on the 528 hertz music or whatever, you know, calming. Um, classical music can mm -hmm. be very calming. Like put something on in the background that you don't even know that's there, yeah. but your body's picking up that frequency. Right. Your it's body tough. feels it and yeah. it, it just makes, um, it's it's purposeful and you don't even have to realize it. Yeah, it's so mm -hmm. easy to do. Mm -hmm. So easy to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you were saying earlier that you could do quantum biofeedback from home. Remotely. Just remotely. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanna I wanna go back to that real quick <laughs> before we before we move on. Yeah. So the way it works, so um well, people who are familiar with Reiki energy know that you can send Reiki at a distance. You know, you can send Reiki to somebody across the world. You can do, um, you know, we can send our intentions to help heal the people of Ukraine, you know, through Reiki and prayer. Same thing. You know, there's been scientific studies that, hey, this really works. Linda Taggart, she wrote a book, The Power of AIDS, and she's all about, you know, figuring out how this is working. Like, how are we able to change something at a distance when we're not connected to them? Um, quantum biofeedback does the same thing. So if they're in my office and they're laying on a pad that's connected to the box, that's called the harness method. So they're attached to something. Mm -hmm. But I can also run it what's called metaspace where there's no pad and that signal gets sent out and gets picked up by the electromagnetic grid that naturally occurs in the earth. So, mm -hmm. okay. you know, people are like, I'm like, if you use a cell phone and you believe that thing works, that's true. <laughs> this is that not is true. This so you take your cell phone, you punch in a series of numbers, and it goes to a tower and a satellite and another tower, and it finds that person wherever they are in the world. Mm -hmm. It just out of a series of numbers, and you are made up of trillions of different frequencies. So you are much more unique than your phone number is. That's just seven numbers or nine numbers, whatever it is. Yeah. So when I put your energy into the machine with your photo, your name, your birth date, your birthplace, oh, okay. the yeah. machine recognizes that as your own unique frequency. And so when I say, okay, we're doing Metaspace today, and I calibrate it, it sends that signal out. So if you were in the machine, it would send okay. your signal out, and it would find you within, it travels at 300,000 miles per second. Oh my God. Like instantaneously. Wow. And it goes, oh, here she is. And it locks you in. So it's got you. Does it, now, does the person have to be aware that this is happening to them? Well, ethically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously. But I guess is, is participation something that makes a difference? Yes. 
Okay, it can. Um, so what we do is, because I've got clients in Australia and England and Israel and people I've wow. never even physically met before. That's and so what we do, I, and I just ran one yesterday, she's in Chicago, and I've never met her either. But, you know, she sets up the appointment online, and we have the time uh, in the day, and then I will pick up the phone and call her before, like, what's going on? What are you experiencing? What are we working on today? She sets the phone down. Electronics have to be about three feet away from you. And you can't be, like, in an airplane or a traveling car, like, with, surrounded by metal. It's okay. That, we need a better yeah. conductor. Um, and then they just lie there and they breathe and they're mm -hmm. aware that they're receiving the, the biofeedback. And then when it's done, I send them a text. I'm like, okay, you're done. Send them the results and get on the phone and we talk about it. Could there be like in a bath? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've had one. Uh, she's like, I just want to relax in my bath tonight. She was pregnant and I, I can't work with pregnant people. I just need to know that they're pregnant. That's mm -hmm. um, and, and she's just relaxing in the bath and I'm sending yeah. her the energy. But just to show how people are like, well, does it work the same? I had a client and she was in Sarasota for the weekend and she had a toothache and it was getting worse and worse and worse. And she's like, I can't get into my dentist until Monday. This is killing me. I've got two days. Like, can you just put me on the machine and, and do something? Mm -hmm. And I said, let me see what I can do. So there's a dental program in there and I ran it and it said, well, mm -hmm. it's, you know, tooth number, tw is it tooth number 28? And she's like, yes, that's exactly the truth that it is, like your lower right bicuspid or whatever. And she's like, that's exactly it. So it was able to identify which tooth was giving her the pain and send yeah. her the frequency to put that into balance to calm, to reduce the inflammation and to reduce the pain. It gave the body the opportunity to do that. Wow. And she didn't, and I have no control over like the machine. I just run it and mm -hmm. it tells me what it tells me. So even if she would have told me which tooth it was, I wouldn't have been able to say that tooth. Right. Um, so it's very, it's very exact whether you're in the office or you're halfway across the world. It works the same way. That's insane. I yeah. know. Yeah. And, and, and then, like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, how did we not hear about this before? Like, right. wow. That was my first thought nine years ago. I'm like, how, how does nobody crazy. know about this? This is, like, insane good. And I mean, when I first started, I was running myself on it all the time. Like, let's do this, let's I do that. that. <laughs> you know, I'm like, what's I going on do. today? Let me check my hormones. And, you know, there's an anti-aging program on there. I'm like, my DHEA, my MREN. And, like, let's check all this. Let's, like, balance it. Like, why not? I have it. I can do it. And right. Like, everybody needs to have one of these. It's just, like, amazing. So That is so amazing. Yeah. How do you think um, that all of this holistic healing um, ties into mental health? Um, it is another layer, I consider it to be, of mental health healing and understanding. Um, because basically it helps, the main purpose of the machine is to manage stress and pain. And right there in it is of itself, if you can manage your stress and you can manage your pain, it's going to go a long ways to help your mental health. Yes, absolutely. Bottom line. Absolutely. And then when we can go a little bit further, we can go a little bit deeper because it, it also has the capacity to identify timelines, so ages in your life, which are still causing you stress. Mm -hmm. And this is how the other client realized it the other day. I'm like, well, what happened when you were 30? And she's like, oh, my God, that's when I got married. That's when it all started. I'm like, okay, well, mm -hmm. there might be some things that still need to be addressed here, clearly. And she just started crying. She's like, I thought I was over this. I thought, you know. Mm -hmm. So... For the mental health part of it, it, it goes into that layer of awareness, um, which I think once you are aware of where the stress is coming from, you can deal with it. And just that in and of itself is healing. Mm -hmm. But then when you are aware, you can keep working with the plant and biofeedback. You can go to a therapist. You, I mean, there's so many things you can do to address it. Well, I think with that level of specificity, it's it's literally like you're writing a prescription of like oh that tooth for example I know exactly what tooth it is and so I know exactly what prescription to give you and and you know like here it is and the, and then the person goes and resolves the problem directly yeah. yeah you know in mental health there's often this almost like a scavenger hunt for the trauma mm -hmm. yeah you know we're you sit you sit down with the client and 
they're telling you how they feel, maybe how they felt that week. And then it's like, okay, what happened? What about this? What about that? And you start like digging and digging and digging and digging. And it can sometimes, it can take one session or it can take years mm -hmm. to finally get to the bottom of, of that, what EMDR we would call it the touchstone memory, which is like that, you know, that, that primary area of trauma yeah. where things started to build into what you've created now and those yeah. synopsis started to build around that trauma and now you have those negative thoughts and negative mm -hmm. um perceptions of yourself and yeah. all those things all you know all born from something that it could take years to to figure out right? you would never know well there and the brain is such a a fantastic thing but and it, it's a great protector mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. i mean yep and yeah. like i've been in talk therapy since I was 17 years old and I think I've still had so it's been a decade and I still to this day like there'll be I'll just be like doing dishes and I'll be like I've never remembered that and it comes mm -hmm. yeah yeah and it's like that's a whole decade of CBT like emotional wellness, like all of these things. I've done EMDR, like I've done, I've had several different therapists, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's like, I'll just be doing something randomly and my brain will just be like, here's a little nugget. Yeah, it'll just, pop, you. It'll just <laughs> pop up. And so it's, it's so amazing that you can have something like quantum biofeedback because, you know, your brain it just wants to protect itself yeah mm -hmm. and you um but sometimes to the adverse you know effect right. because it keeps it in and it doesn't and, yeah. allow you to address it and heal it right so it keeps it in and the other good thing about quantum biofeedback is when we identify these ages mm -hmm. i gave her energy for two years old I'm like, I'm going to give you energy for that, you know, to balance it because your body's holding it wherever it's holding it in your body. It's obviously there. So you can't remember what it is. That's okay. We're going to give your body energy to, to heal it on itself anyway. So the subconscious mind is aware. It knows what's going on. Oh, it yeah. knows what happens. It's true. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we acknowledge it in this form. The subconscious knows, okay, I've been heard. Mm -hmm. You know, there's my my age, mm -hmm. and we give it the energy so it can start balancing and healing itself on its own without any further mm -hmm. uh, intervention or methods on on her behalf. It mm -hmm. will go faster yes. <laughs> if there are other methods. You know, because um, there were some clients that this age kept coming up. I'm like, you sure you don't know what happened? You sure you don't? She's like, no, I don't, I don't. And maybe she didn't. Maybe she didn't want to talk about it. it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. So we just kept giving it energy, giving right. it energy, and then eventually it cleared. It didn't come up again. I'm like, okay, well, 10-year-old is happy now. So <laughs> she's, you know, right. something went away. Let's hope it stays away, you know. So it can be a very passive way of receiving that, balancing too, to allow your body to heal. Okay. But it does work better in conjunction, like if you are right. aware that you can take additional steps. It's like a roadmap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very good roadmap. Yeah, it tells you, like, hey, here's what my biofeedback person told me and um this is what i need to work on this way to okay have a seat let's yeah. go ahead and talk to your inner child and i was working with or my client was working with a, a talk therapist and so they sent him to me and so we ran it and he's like oh i don't know about these ages went took it up to his therapist and then the next time he saw me he's like you're not gonna believe like this yeah we mentioned this age she started talking to me this came out i couldn't believe that i'd forgotten about this he's like it like run it again run it again <laughs> give me more ages like he was so like what else can i heal you know uh -huh. i'm like okay let's see if it's gone let's run some more and um you know he was all about let me take it back so we can we can dig through this because yeah. i'm not a talk therapist i'm not a certified therapist i'm not qualified to do that you are qualified to do that and I know my limitations so I can run and offer recommendations and suggestions based on our conversation but to get certified help I need to send them send them out and uh I think quantum biofeedback would be an amazing addition to EMDR as well mm -hmm. which to me EMDR and I bring it up often because that was my like oh my god why isn't everybody doing this mm -hmm. like that was my quantum biofeedback you know yeah. that was my my thing that i learned 
was was rather a profound way of uh, managing mental health and even if you like you take this memory at uh, two years old that it doesn't really seemingly exist mm -hmm. um but you have at least the awareness now that there there was something there and with emdr we can dig it up mm -hmm. yeah you know you can you can literally just you would connect your mind the thought of you know whatever your concern is or whatever your negative cognition your your self evaluation whether it's i'm helpless or i'm lost or i'm confused or mm -hmm. i'm scared mm -hmm. you connect that thought with whatever feeling you have in your body just thinking about the possibility of being two years old and something harming you yeah and we go from there mm -hmm. and that takes you so deep into the subconscious yeah. and you can dig up all kinds of things yeah yeah and it's a gentle way and it's that deep deep healing i mean anything i love deep healing like anything that can get in there and get it out mm -hmm. it needs to happen yeah. and i love doctors i do if it wasn't for doctors i wouldn't be here today they have the role they have like if right. i'm in an emergency and i'm like the body needs to stay alive mm -hmm. don't bring yeah. me to biofeedback or Reiki, like, <laughs> right? Get me to that ER, or put me health. back together, right? Correct. Like, yeah. put me back together. Right. You know, I think that's so great, but that's, you know, a very topical, we're working with this physical body, but when you start going deeper and into the mind mm -hmm. and into the energy body, that's where, for me, the healing takes place. You're not just sustaining a body, you're not just keeping yourself alive, but you're actually going deep into the healing and not putting the band-aid on it. Right, you're and, not just surviving anymore. Right, yeah. and I've seen so many clients turn their lives around, like, majorly, that they're just, and some do it very quickly, some take years to do it. I mean, it's a journey, it's not, you know, you come in once, oh, okay, I'm better, thanks. Yeah, you know, well, it's, so, it, so it's mental health. Yeah, it's exactly, journey. it's yeah. a journey because you gotta put in the work. You got to put in the work. It didn't happen overnight. You know, all of these things have accumulated. So you can't just, you know, cure it. But what I have seen is a lot of my clients are in their 40s or 50s. I'm 55. And so, you know, the, the trauma has built up because they haven't realized it was trauma. They haven't mm -hmm. known what to do with it. They've been told to be quiet, sit down, shut up, don't complain, help everybody else. Mm -hmm. And so it just builds, builds, builds. I'll say, yeah, you've gone 40 or 50 years with all these accumulating. It's not going to take overnight to reverse it, but it's not going to take 50 years to right. get you yeah, a happy childhood. Right. You, yeah. you, you know, you mm -hmm. can turn this around in a very short amount of time compared to what it's taken to build it up. Yeah, Because the body's natural state is happiness and healing and harmony. So it's working with you. The universe is working with you. You know, when you go under a trauma, the universe is trying to give you tools and techniques and things to, to help you heal from that trauma. Mm -hmm. right. And most of us aren't aware of that. But when you are aware of it and you start using it to your benefit, then the healing takes place so much faster absolutely than it took the trauma to do right and how wonderful um it is that you are providing that type of service it's just one of the benchmarks of a full body mind mm -hmm. um healing and that's, that's so fantastic that you're able to provide that in so many different ways in your business firefly mm -hmm. within yeah thank you yeah, Very it's exciting. it's I like I love my job. I love going, doing it every day. Um, every client is different. Mm -hmm. Like every single client is different. Every day is different. And when somebody comes in, they can have the same traumas, but they're responding in different ways. Sure. Mm -hmm. And so to me, it's like. I don't want to say it's a challenge, <laughs> but it's like, like, how, how can I help you best? Like, where, where are we going to get to? Like, how, how can we work together and find the, the program that is going to work the best for you? Because everybody is so unique mm -hmm. and it's, it's a privilege to be able to help them mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah. Um, are this the best contacts for you if somebody wanted to get in touch and, and have and maybe either do a session or ask questions 
Yeah, the best place, so uh, fireflywithin.com, mm -hmm. that is my website, and on there you can look at all of my services, there's an explanation, um, there's the pricing for the services, okay. and then there's even a place where you can book a free 30-minute consultation, so if you just want to talk to me about what is it, do you think this would be a good fit for me, this is what I'm going through, you can do that, mm -hmm. and then you can also book any of my services online. Great. And if they do want to email me, info, I-N-F-O, at fireflywithin.com, okay. um, if I get back to the emails and um, they can ask any questions they want on there too and I'll get back to them. Yes. And we will go ahead and post all of that information in mm -hmm. the information box below. Karen, I'm so excited that you were able to come and sit yes. with us today. Oh, well, thank, thank you for you. having me. It was very informative and just wonderful to have you here. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. I can talk about both of you for long. So, <laughs> and it's great to be able to work with other people in the mental health profession because mm -hmm. it's all about just helping people get better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're really excited about it. We, we love that that that's a service that's provided i mean yeah. yeah yeah so thank you for telling your peers about yes, it I appreciate absolutely <laughs> and as always if you have any questions you can email us at between my t and i at gmail.com that's the letter t and the letter i um thank you for joining us for another episode of between my therapist and i i'm rebecca and i'm yellowly and this was Karen Wolf. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>